rivals Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders prepping for their debate tonight in Milwaukee as an interesting question is raised by the Boston Globe about why Clinton isn't having more success on the campaign trail. The editorial titled, Hey Bill, Exit Left, argues that Clinton's husband Bill is hurting her more than Senator Sanders. Quote, a gaunt, vegan, and cranky Bill is a problem for Hillary. Separating him from the campaign trail is a good idea. For one thing, it's hard to look at the two of them and start thinking about tomorrow. Bill Clinton is a huge reminder of yesterday and the centrist policies Bernie Sanders is running against. Joining me now, Pete Snyder, Fox News contributor and a former Republican candidate for Lieutenant Governor of Virginia, and Simon Rosenberg, president and founder of NDN, a progressive think tank. He's also a former campaign advisor to Bill Clinton. It's great to have you both as we examine this topic. Simon, I'm, I'm curious Jeff. what you think of this. Sure. Is, is Bill more of a liability at this point than Bernie? No, uh, absolutely not. Uh, you know, the thing is, for all of Bill Clinton's problems, they're going to be part of the campaign. And I think what the Clinton campaign is doing and what's very smart about it is they're, they're getting some of the downside of Bill, but they're also going to get a ton of upside. He allows the Clinton campaign to be in two places at the same time. And as we move to 20 and 25 states in the next few weeks, it's going to be able to have an enormous impact in generating attention and media and making the positive case for Hillary. And so I think he's a net asset, and I think the Clinton campaign has used him very wisely. So Do you far. agree with the same, Pete? A lot of questions raised about Bill, his health, how he appeared on the campaign trail, some of the things that he said in New Hampshire. Do you feel he'll be as positive going through some of the, new, the states that we're looking at ahead? Jenna, uh, I have a lot of respect for the big dog. He is the most talented politician uh, of his generation, probably mine as well. But I can tell you, he's lost a step. Um, David Moranis, the, the longtime biographer of, of Bill Clinton, saw him on the campaign trail and said he looked tired, he looked weak. And, you know, he's been a liability in the past. Look at what he did in 2008 in South Carolina, uh, claiming that the minority vote doesn't matter at all. And sure enough, you know, eight years later, he's trying to say it's all about the minority vote. So this is not the Bill Clinton and the politics that are existing today Aren't the politics of Simon and Bill Clinton back when well, they Well, it's interesting that you raised that. I was talking to Ed Henry, of course, who covers the Clinton campaign yeah. and always, always has a lot of great insight. And he said some of the questions that the Clinton campaign are, is confronting right now are very similar to the questions that uh, Jeb Bush's campaign is, which is about the legacy of the family and how that is impacting voters' perception and how it should be included in the campaign. Simon, what about that? Because yeah. it is... It, you say, you know, stand wherever you want in Bill Clinton. He yeah. is the past. He's not necessarily the future. How do they make that argument? I don't, I don't really see it that way. I think, you know, he's part of the package, right? You can't take him out. You can't make him disappear. I mean, he's going to be there, so you might as well get the upside out of his engagement in the campaign and put him to use. I mean, he's still a very compelling and powerful speaker. He's done a really good job on the stump for them. And, and I think so I, I view, I think that there's a pragmatic recognition that he's going to be part of the story, part of the attention, no matter what, and you might okay. as well get as much good use out That's of it. That's a great question for Pete. Pete, should Republicans yeah. be afraid of Bill Clinton? Because, as you point out, he's one of the most talented, if not the most talented, politician of the generation. No, I don't think so. Look, he's been very effective on the champagne and shardy pop crowd, raising <laughs> uh, millions of dollars for Hillary. How do we get part but, of that uh, crowd? Look, the champagne crowd sounds like the crowd we want to be part of. <laughs> he doesn't fire up the youth vote like he used to. He doesn't really. He's ah, out you, of touch the with the mainstream vote. of the Democratic Party right now. I'm glad you and brought the up. Democratic so boxers or briefs? Sorry, I mean, should we get back no, to that? No, okay, hold yeah, on, from... hold on. I'm glad you brought up the youth vote, and I'm apologizing for interrupting you, Pete, but you, you were yeah. leading us to our next topic, and I'll start with you. Um, there's been some negative attention, social media attention for Hillary Clinton over the last day or so. This is after the New Hampshire primary. Her team sent out an email asking for dollar donations. And a line in this email said this, I'm not kidding, Maddie, that was the person who received the email, I'm asking you to give a dollar right this second. Well, apparently, Maddie, the woman who received this email, posted it online. And it has uh, generated a whole host of Internet jokes. I'm not kidding, Maddie has become a hashtag because of, well, the expression. And now, listen, all campaigns send out emails like this, ask, you know, saying the sky is going to fall if you don't send in $5. But, Pete, is the fact that her campaign is getting mocked for it and it's taking on a life of its own, what questions is it raising about her messaging? Sure, it's indicative that, that she's losing the message battle and losing the Internet and losing the youth vote, period. Um, she has a muddled message. It's really all about her. It's never about people and their desires. It's always about 
you know, history or I'm ready for Hillary. And, you know, the under 45 crowd is just laughing at it. This is old news. It's not where the Democratic Party is today. It's not where uh, the nation wants to go. And the Clintons are husbands. It, I mean, is, it, does it concern you, Simon, <laughs> that you're seeing this sort of trend? I mean, it's not like the most positive social media attention to get. And if it's really the youth that Hillary is having a problem with, does this reflect that? Look, there's a lot that's going right for the Clinton campaign. There's no doubt about it, right? She's still the likely nominee of the Democratic Party. But this issue of what's going on with young people is a big problem for the campaign. She's admitted it. It's probably the biggest story of the election so far, losing young people by 70 points. And remember, young people, this is the biggest generation in American history. This is not the kids' table. This is the center of American politics now. A Democrat cannot be elected president without a strong showing among young people. This is a big structural Why challenge. Why is she for the having campaign. that issue, Simon? I'm not going to run, but I'm curious your take yeah. on it. What's the issue? Why is she having it? Look, I don't think any of us really understand, but I think there's one important piece, which is that every other camp candidate who's doing well is running in some way against the system, that the system has let us down, that the system isn't working anymore, and each candidate is approaching that in their own way. There's only one candidate who's not saying that, and it's Hillary Clinton. And I think for a lot of young people, that her inability, her ability, uh, her running as a status quo candidate mm. has been an enormous turnoff for a lot of young Simon, it's, it's authenticity. She's just not yeah. an authentic candidate. She, she has problems telling the truth, and people can tell that. It's all about raw ambition. It turns off younger voters. Well, it'll be interesting to see where it goes from here. Yeah. Uh, we'll be watching the campaign trail in Nevada and then South Carolina. Hashtag, I'm not kidding. We'll be watching. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jenna. Simon P., great to have you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Jenna.